Hey, uh, welcome back to my Metal Gear Let's Play. Um, so, um, Tori was asking me a couple questions that seemed like good questions about like the characters and like their allegiances and like like what they're you know who they're working for. So just like really quickly, I thought I'd recap like where we are right now, which is. Um, Solid Snake isn't really affiliated with any particular outfit. He's kind of like a retiree um, who just got pulled out of retirement by Roy Campbell, who is a colonel with the US military. Um, but I don't think he's actually um, a part of Foxhound anymore. However, you are working with somebody who is affiliated with Foxhound, and that's Dr. Naomi Hunter. So she's not really a soldier, she's like a scientist, um, but she's a scientist slash doctor kind of like assigned to Foxhound. Um, and so those are your two sort of government um, contacts, mailings with the government too. Um, right, so those are the people who are kind of supporting you and sending you on this mission. Then here on base on Shadow Moses Island, um, you have one contact, Meryl, Meryl Silverberg, and um, she's um, Colonel Campbell's niece. Um, she's like a new recruit, and um, when the rebellion, like the, re yeah, when, when the rebellion went down, she wasn't really down with it, so that's why she got kind of thrown in jail. Um, and so now we have to get in contact with her because she has the card key that Kenneth Baker left with her. Um, so Kenneth Baker um, is like the president of an arms corporation. Um, and, uh, his interests, uh, in being at Shadow Moses were, like, he was, I think, funding, um, Metal Gear, and, like, it would have been a real landfall for his, win landfall? Windfall for his company, I guess, if the government had picked up Metal Gear as a project. Um, so, yeah, that's fun. Um, he said a lot of, of interesting things. In his rant, um, among which he mentioned like this guy Jim when he was like hitting you with his cane, and also when he was dying. We don't know who Jim is, but um, yeah, I maybe I won't say anymore. Um, but he's he's an important guy, and um, Baker thinks that you're working for Jim, but we don't know who Jim is. Um, so I think we can probably conclude that Jim works for the government in some some way. Um, other than that, uh, Foxhound right now, um, is headed up by Liquid Snake. Um, I'm pretty sure he joined Foxhound after you left Foxhound. Um, and, um, they were assigned to Shadow Moses to kind of oversee this whole, um, testing of Metal Gear that Kenneth Baker was talking about. Um, and they were assigned here by the government, um, because they're, like, elite soldiers. Um, but obviously Liquid Snake had slightly different ideas, so I guess this whole project has gotten a little bit out of the Pentagon's hands. And I think that's what we know right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a couple of codec calls. Um, I realized when I uh, fucked up this recording and then had to replay the first part <laughs> that uh, I had missed a couple of calls in the first part and so I want to be more conscientious um, one of the calls I missed was like this really good one where Campbell is like holy shit Liquid Snake just shot down two F-16s with a hind D which like if you think about it it's pretty fucking insane <laughs> so um, yeah we're gonna call him we're gonna call Campbell The DARPA chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Hal Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Merrill by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? In any case, you should... Um, right, so Baker mentioned uh, in the middle of his long rant that he had forgotten Merrill's codec frequency. Um, and in the original um, edition of Metal Gear Solid, um, 
it was written on the back of the jewel case that the, that the game came in. Um, just one of Kojima's little games that he loves to play. Um, in my case, I don't have that case, but I can Google it. So here's Meryl. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. How oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Boxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither, yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. 
But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Okay, so one, Meryl's very well informed. Um, and two, Salt Snake loves to talk. He's like, he loves to, he loves to chat. He's, he's like a traveling therapist. Everyone he meets, he's got to get their story and like talk it out with them. In war, a split second can. Okay, I guess um, I'll go pick up some stuff and then and then I'll go meet Meryl at the place her to open the door for me. Elevator. Oh my god, I'm fucked! <laughs> ah! I'm going in the elevator, I'm going in the elevator! Don't look at me, don't look at me! Oh, I fucking died. <sighs> well. Well. That's fine. <laughs> okay, I think I have to pick up all this stuff again. But that's fine, I can do it. No big deal. Oh my fucking god, why am I like this? No, I'm just gonna- just die. Just die. I don't wanna fight you. Just- just let me die. It's fine. Oh. People say that watching me play Metal Gear is very stressful because I'm so risky and I understand, but I'm very impatient. Okay, I'm gonna do it this time, don't worry about it. It's gonna happen. When Rachel was here and we were playing Dark Souls, I also never healed. So Rachel was just screaming at me all the time to like use an Estus flask. Bad at healing. 
I'm bad at being careful. Okay, this time I got it. I crawled. Um, just so you guys can see what is here, because I guess if you haven't played, you don't know. There's like these lasers. So if you run into it, it sets off the alarm. But I got my thermal goggles. Um, I can show you how it looks with the cigarettes too. It's like this. But if you don't have anything, it looks like that. So yeah, cigarettes are like the poor man's thermal goggles. Be careful. I don't think there's anything here. There's... there's not. That's a level 5 door. Oh, please. Just let the elevator come before that guy gets here. I just... I don't want to... Back to level one. So there's one more thing I need to get. Actually, two more things I need to get on level one. Um, there's a mind detector and a suppressor. Um, I'll grab the suppressor now, I guess. Because I'll probably want that to get the mind detector. is upstairs, I think. Oh yeah, there's a cardboard box in here too. Nice. Look at me. I'm so sneaky. No one knows that I'm here. And I think there's one soldier on the upper balcony, and I did this a few times trying to sneak past him, but it's honestly not worth it. So he's gotta die. Hi Poopy, you agree, right? He's got it. Oh, fuck. Oops. My bad. Well, anyway. Should be fine. I don't know. Oh god, no! Go, get out of here! Go, 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 go! I suck at this game. <laughs> Anyway, there's the mine detector. There's our ration. Get the fuck out of here. I don't really know what to do. In this game, the enemies just keep on spawning and they're gonna come in this room and like... Oh, oh shit, nice. I guess it's like far enough from where they spawned that, uh, that I didn't have to fight them. That's great. Well... Now I can go. Oh, you know what just happened? Uh, I have to call Meryl again. She hasn't opened the door because I haven't called her. Um... No wonder. I was like, where's that call? This is what happens when you die. Um... I think I I will like I cut really... I will cut this so um we'll we'll come back after this conversation. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there.
Okay, so I cut a little bit of the game footage because um, I was bored and I wanted to see what was on this side of the balcony and I got myself killed, um, maybe very predictably. Um, I don't really know how to get past this. Hmm. Nice! Alright, that worked. Aiming in this game is such a goddamn mystery. I'm gonna use one chaff grenade here just so I can get the fuck out. Christ. What a pain. I, I brought this upon myself. Whew. Uh, let's call a couple people. Barrel contacted you, didn't she? Go through the cargo door in the north part of the hangar. Head for the Warhead storage building. Barrel con- In war. Cargo door is open already. Well, my bad. I said I was gonna be more conscientious about um, calling people, but I fucked up and I missed a call um, where I tell Campbell that Meryl's okay, but I guess it wasn't the most exciting call, so uh, I guess we'll live without it. Anyway, time to get out of here. one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors it looks like the place is protected by infrared sensors somehow you'll have to make it past the beams if you have any questions about weapons or equipment you should ask our military analyst Nastasha her frequency is 141.52. So, I basically never call Nastasha. I just don't think she's very plot relevant. Um, honestly, Miller's not super relevant either, but... As you know, I like that guy. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Nice voice acting. <laughs> Um, if Kojima had stayed with Konami and gotten bullied into making another Metal Gear, can you imagine, like, him retconning her to become an important character? Like, maybe. Who knows?
Also, I've always been really impressed that they got um, another voice actor for Miller in the prequel games that sounded so much like this voice actor. I mean, like, he did a good job. Good job, Salt Snake. <gasps> oh my god! I thought that call was gonna activate like on its own. I guess I'm a fucking idiot. Here I was thinking I wouldn't spoil you and wait for the call to come. Well, you'll see. There it is. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Okay, thanks, thanks, fan. Ugh, oh, I can't believe I did that. Stupid. Just gotta pick up all these claymores so I don't step on them accidentally later. Russian? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna eat this. Uh, or should I wait? I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. My life is all depleted because I was stupid and kept getting caught. Um. What do I want? I equip the rations and head out to see what's up with that tank. say this, getting run over by a tank really doesn't hurt that much in this game. It does in 4 though, it hurts a lot in 4. Oh god, no, oh, fucking... Oh, I am so flattened. That didn't work. Oh, fucking hell. Just get in the fucking cock. Oh, oh my god. That was stupid. Ugh. Sometimes I think it's just like luck because I got this in like two hits last time. Ugh. What? 
Did it wasted. just... Whoa. I didn't even know that... I didn't even know that there were two guys in there. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Oh. <laughs> Your, like, method of hitting me is literally just to run me over. This reminds me of it reminds me of Peace Walker. The most painful game. There we go. Just as you said, in battle, he is as if possessed by a demon, much like you. I would expect no less. See? I told you so, but I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes. The raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Falcon Raven is like, I don't know, vaguely racist, I guess, but also so fucking bizarre. Uh, let's look in this room. Oh, nice. Um, make a couple calls, I guess. Snake. You've got to rescue Dr. Emmerich, the Metal Gear engineer. He's probably being held prisoner in the second floor basement of the Warhead Storage Building. Hey, you guys, I just beat a tank. Is no one impressed? That inner voice that warns you. It is just like Baker said. We are facing increasing danger from stored nuclear materials. You see, there are three elements necessary in the manufacture of nuclear weapons. Nuclear materials, nuclear engineers, and manufacturing technology. All three of them can easily be acquired by either legal or illegal means. If you have enough money, that is. Kojima loves to lecture. You're incredible, Snake! You single-handedly beat an M1 tank! No big deal. But I'll bet that VR simulator you trained on didn't have any scenarios that put you one-on-one -on -one against a tank, did it? No. But there was no scenario where I had to work alone with a special forces soldier against a group of terrorists, either. In real life, things never go the way you expect them to. Especially on a battlefield. I'm already holed up in the Warhead Storage Building. It looks like Dr. Emmerich is still fine, but I'm not sure for how much longer. Hurry up this way, okay? I'm glad Meryl's impressed. Dr. Emmerich should be in the- Okay. Time to go find this Dr. Emmerich.
Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? Like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. I mean, not like I can anyway. Jesus, that could have gone really bad. I, I'm glad he turned the other way. I've been literally programmed so that I can't use my weapons. Thanks for that, Naomi. I feel real um, agency in my life right now. Uh, this part is a little tricky. I have to get that elevator open while not getting seen by this asshole. Oh my god, get the fuck out of here. Go away. box. Yeah. Oh, actually I didn't need it. Good. Oh, um... Oh, Christ. They said he was... Mm. They said he was on B2. But I'm gonna go to B1 first. I need to pick up an item. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Hide. want to be impatient, but I probably shouldn't. I should wait for this guy to like properly get out of the way before I leave. Okay. Now I can go downstairs. Who's that? Um, I wonder if there's any new conversations. You've got to rescue. Doctor Emmerich is probably be. Watch out! That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote-controlled missile.
Colonel, I got a codec call from someone outside this operation. I know. We were monitoring the call. Mei Ling knows everything about the communication system, so let me have her explain it to you. Well, if somebody knows your frequency, they can call you. But the question is, how did he learn it? It's top secret information. So you mean someone leaked the information? That's the only explanation I can think of. Mei Ling, do you know where that transmission originated from? I'm sorry. The radio waves were too weak to locate their source, but I'm sure he's near you, somewhere on the base. For the time being, let's trust what Deep Throat told us. Use a remote controlled missile to destroy the switchboard in the northwest section of the Warhead Storage Building's second floor basement. Make sure your remote controlled missile doesn't get shot down by those gun cameras. Deep Throat? No, I, I don't know anyone who calls himself that. I see. I wonder why he's trying to help you. I have no idea. A trap? Could be, but for the time being, I'll have to trust him. For the time be- Okay, well, that's what I went to pick up. So let's see how it goes. Oh shit. Mm, get a breath of air. Okay. Um oh. I did that pretty much because, oh god, I want you to see this door. Hal's lab. Keep out. Ugh. Okay, god, I gotta get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. oh scary. Okay. We're safe now. We're in Hal's lab now. Okay. some type of blade. Well, this is alarming. It's a ghost. 
Guy's still twitching. Sorry, dude. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now, you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! Ah, fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me Make me feel alive again. Okay. Um, so the trick to this fight is he wants you to beat him up with oh why? <laughs> with your fists. Oh, he kicks so hard. Oh god, I forgot the right button. Ah, circle, circle, circle. There we go. Please. Please just let me kick you. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Yeah, okay. God, you're so f you're so scary. <laughs> you're so scary. Your legs are so scary. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hurry 
Hurry up and catch me. Okay. Fun game. Um, I think I'm going to get this ration first, and you can come find me. Oh. Is that open? Is that an open door? Right here? Oh my god. Zanzibar. What? Not again. What's happening? is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. 
So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Meryl. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the President personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it, in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah. But that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. 
They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. Damn! I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th. 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind, it's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there, too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Merrill's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four.
You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? <laughs> nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japan animation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. So the place that Otacon thinks is really obvious that um, you can meet Meryl alone, I really would never have guessed. I, um, I feel like I found it by accident. It's the women's bathroom because she's the only female soldier on the base. And I guess everyone else is just too polite to go in there. A really clever plot twist, Kojima. Um, so before we go find Meryl, actually I'm probably going to cut this one off here, but um, I want to log Otacon's number, which is 141.12, I think he said. You still haven't found Meryl? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? Trying to hide. Miller is completely useless. Well, it looks like you've rescued Emmerich for the time being. Yeah, with that stealth camouflage, he should be able to hide safely. Gray Fox. I can't believe it. But the real problem is your niece. The way the codec got cut off like that has me worried. Something must have happened to her. You're worried about Mara? Not exactly. It's just that she's holding the detonation code override keys. They're our last chance of stopping that nuclear launch. You're a cold man. Your mission is more important than the life of your companions? This is war. Survival is the name of the game. Sometimes you have to be cold to survive. Yes, but... Snake, either way, I want you to find Meryl as soon as possible. I understand. Didn't Meryl say that she's somewhere Okay, um, I'm gonna save, and that's it for this session. Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassar like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the Codex system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich too. But he was used like a tool. Used to make a horrible killing machine. 
Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stop making things. I don't know. Okay, well, thanks for watching again, and bye!